Är det fisken än? Ja, det är det. Är det där såg jag? Atlantic Crossing, the day we all been waiting for. We've probably been thinking about this moment for the past two years, both being excited and nervous at the same time. The length from Cape Verde to St. Vincent is 2,100 nautical miles, and we hope it would take us 17 days to cross. Since the ride to Cape Verde was quite rough, we were all a little bit nervous. If the condition would be the same, we had a tough time ahead of us. Luckily, the weather forecast predicted calm winds, especially in the north, with winds around 5 to 10 knots. Further south, the winds were stronger, so we headed south to get in the stable trade winds as soon as possible. Another thing we've been waiting for for a long time was to catch a fish. The last catch we had was an octopus in northern France. That was more than four months ago. The first fish we caught was a Dorado. Finally the waiting was over and we were of course very happy and excited. In total we caught five fish. Two Dorados, one Wahoo, one unknown blue spotted fish that we let go of and one Barracuda. We had 19 meals with fish, so I now we are extra I smart. Day 11 on the Atlantic crossing. Approximately uh, six days to go before we reach uh, San Vincent. Lina, how do you feel? No, oh, better than I thought. Uh, uh, when uh, we realized that we had to hand steer, uh, I was a little bit worried that I was going to be so exhausted and tired that I wouldn't enjoy being at the sea. Because this is something that we have been planning for, waiting for, for a very long time. Yeah, we so, had a lot of expectations yeah. and so on. Um, so, I'm happy. I'm not bored because I was a little bit worried that I might get bored, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm actually bored. You are? <laughs> yeah, I thought I would find inner harmony and peace. Uh, but. I am sort of longing to get uh, ashore. Maybe it's too early to stop longing for that. Yeah. I get the feeling that 
I mean, uh, you know, one of these cars outside supermarket, there are kids' cars <laughs> that you put the kid up and put the coin in and it goes like this. Yeah. Uh, that's the feeling that we, because it, it's no feeling that we're moving forward, especially not at night, because then you just can hear this sound of the, of the waves. Uh, but nothing else proves that we are moving forward. And, and well, this I think, looks the I think same. it's the sound makes you feel like you're going forward. Yeah, but if you put, <laughs> if you put the like uh, uh, headphones on the kid when he with some engine sound, you like oh, I think cool. it's the sound going forward. <laughs> I do like this with you, yeah. and you go like oh. One thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about is that we haven't seen hardly any dolphins. We heard some in the night and saw some jumping in the darkness, but uh, that's all. No whales, no, no dolphins. But, but uh, I, I'm not totally negative at all. <laughs> it, it is. It is a very nice feeling. I like what I like is that it's this boat is right now our life. Uh, nothing, no other input except for the the weather and the wind and the yeah, the sun, the sun and the waves. Uh, so it's an isolated feeling that you never get at home because you get so much input and impressions and now it's like not and, and I, I, that is something that I really enjoy and we have a good, very good uh, uh, it, it's a good uh, feeling on the boat it's a good uh, uh, the relationship on board which seems to be the hardest part to, to to fix on a boat. It's not the, the sailing boat or the, uh, the safety or the food. It's the, the, the biggest challenge is the, uh, the relationships. But that's and it's, really easy. It's just me and Jan that is fighting all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, and I Arguing, you. nagging all the time. I have to <laughs> No. It's harmony. It's harmony. That's yeah. the word I'm missing. That is better than I expected. Is that we uh, we take yeah, a bath or uh, not a swim, of course, but uh, being on the back of the boat, just uh, hanging on the ladder back of the boat is super nice because now the water is warm. It took like two or three days. After Cape Verde, it's, it must be like 28 degrees in the water. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Yeah. And, and it's so up. blue. <laughs> That's my favorite yeah. sentence every what day. What have you seen? So blue. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. Next week episode will be on how an ordinary day on the Atlantic looks like. Join us now.